A wedgie so strong that it causes death? That sounds more like a high school rumor than real life. How about a spooky figure haunting the forest near a Swiss town for years? If it wasn't until a photograph and a note, nobody would have believed it was real. I'm Mike with List25, and join me as we count down 25 urban legends that turned out to be true. 25. Charlie No-Face If you were driving around a certain neighborhood of western Pennsylvania in the mid-1900s, it was said that you might have stumbled across a petrifying sight, a man without a face. The story spread through the town and scared children enough to stay indoors. These sightings, it turned out, were completely true. It was a man named Raymond Robinson who had a severely disfigured face after being electrocuted as a child. The reason he was most often spotted at night was because he didn't want to frighten people by coming out during the day. 24. Body Under the Bed Ever entered a hotel room and felt that it hadn't been cleaned properly since the last guest? Maybe some dirt on the floor or lipstick on a glass. Sometimes you could just feel when someone else was there recently. Well, for one vacationing couple in 2003, the previous guest was really there the entire time. At the Capri Motel in Missouri, a couple stayed for three days until guests began to report a foul odor coming from the room. When management investigated, they made a gruesome discovery. There was a rotting corpse underneath the bed, just inches away from where the couple had been sleeping. 23. Rat in the Soda If you're a fan of Dr. Pepper, like I am, you might want to skip this one. In 2016, a child was unlucky enough to find a dead rat at the bottom of a bottle. Apparently, once they realized this, the family rushed their child to the hospital where a range of tests were done. The company said it was virtually impossible for anything to get inside during manufacturing and offered to analyze the inside of the rat's stomach for clues. However, the family refused to hand over the rat, choosing to run their own tests first. 22. The Vanishing Hotel When a young girl returned to the hotel during a trip to Paris, she expected to find her mother. However, the girl's mother had vanished. Not just from the room, but seemingly from history. The people working at the hotel told the girl that no woman of that description had checked in. The room was meant to be empty. Versions of this story trace back to an urban legend more than 100 years old. The origin is from an article first published back in 1897 in the Philadelphia Inquirer. The mother's disappearance is usually attributed to some kind of deadly illness. As for the strange hotel workers, some think they wanted to spare the child's feelings. I mean, she's gonna find out anyway, right? 21. The Leaping Lawyer Next on our list is a story that sounds like it's out of a book. Gary Hoy, a 38-year-old lawyer in Toronto, Canada, was known for a strange obsession. To show how resilient the windows of his law firm's office were, he would run and slam his body into them. The window almost always held up. Almost. One day, as he was showing interns around the office, he threw his weight against the window as usual. This time, however, it shattered completely. Gary was launched out through the glass and down 24 floors to his death. Apparently, he was one of the brightest employees at the firm. But I'm not so sure that's how history will remember him. 20. The Main Hermit Ever fantasize about leaving society behind and living a reclusive life on your own off the grid? Well, it's not as easy as it sounds. Ask the Main Hermit, an urban legend that circulated around the North Pond area for decades. Things would go routinely missing from campsites, including equipment, food, clothes, and supplies. But there was never any trace left behind. Police launched an investigation, staked out the area, and even set up a motion detector. Eventually, the hermit was caught, proving that the legend was real. His name was Christopher Thomas Knight, and he had been living in the forest for 27 years without human contact. For his decades-long stealing spree, he was sentenced to seven months in prison. And unsurprisingly, he now lives a quiet life away from the spotlight. 19. The Fake Cop Trick How well do you really know the people around you? Imagine being this woman from England who found out her marriage had been with an undercover police officer playing his alias. The man she knew as a businessman had been secretly reporting to police headquarters for 19 years. Undercover officers are known to build relationships to strengthen their cover story, but this case took things to a whole new level. He even became a stepfather to the woman's kids. 18. Elmer McCurdy's Body An infamous outlaw who died during a police shootout, Elmer McCurdy could never have imagined what would happen to his body after his bloody end. McCurdy had been responsible for a handful of train robberies and was hiding out in the shed of a farm when police tracked him down. 
After a tense standoff, shots were exchanged when daylight broke, and McCurdy was eventually hit, fatally. Without any relatives to claim him, the funeral home gave him an embalming treatment, a way of preserving his body. Then, he was displayed to the public, eventually ending up as part of a traveling carnival show dubbed The Outlaw Who Would Never Be Captured Alive. McCurdy's body was sold several times, and its last known location was the Pike in Long Beach in 1976. 17. A fake word in the dictionary. Sometimes even the dictionary gets it wrong. The word doored was published in Webster's Second New International Dictionary back in 1934. It came from the editing team misunderstanding a note written by the chemistry expert. He had written D or D, followed by density, meaning that the word could have either an uppercase or lowercase first letter. But this was lost in translation. The word doored went on to appear in the dictionary for five years before someone realized the mistake. Now, speaking of dictionaries, let me know if this is annoying to you. When you were a kid, were you ever told, hey, were you ever asked to spell how to spell a word? Like, hey, how do you spell blah, 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 only for them to tell you, look it up in the dictionary. Great, except they don't know how to spell it, so how am I gonna look it up in the dictionary? That one, that's a personal. Let me know if anyone else, it was just me. Was I the only one told to look it up in the dictionary when asked to spell a word? 16, killer elevators. Hospitals should be the safest place to be, especially for medical workers. But in 2003, a freak accident happened in a Houston hospital that has become an urban legend. The incident involved a doctor named Hitoshi Nakaido, who rushed to get into an elevator at the last moment. However, the doors were already closing, and instead of automatically reopening, they malfunctioned, trapping Dr. Nakaido in between them, with his head on one side and his body on the other. What happened next was horrifying, especially for his colleague, who was inside the elevator at the time. The elevator shot up to the next floor, and the doctor's head was gruesomely separated from his body. An investigation found that a misconnected wire may have been to blame. 15. Secret Sharers after noticing that his food was disappearing from their fridges and pantries, a 57-year-old man in Japan set up a network of surveillance cameras to get to the bottom of it. After watching footage of the night back, he was shocked to see a middle-aged woman who had been hiding in his closet, possibly for years. She had been using his shower, bathroom, and food anytime the man was out. Maybe that's why my electricity bill is so high. Here we go check. I'll be right back. 14. Neil Armstrong's famous quote is wrong. What were those famous words that Neil Armstrong said when he became the first person to walk on the moon? You're probably thinking of one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But that's slightly wrong. Armstrong has reported that his words were actually that's one small step for man. It seems like a small difference, but when it comes to one of the most famous quotes of all time, you'd think we would get the words right. The missing word was likely because of radio transmission problems and broadcast noise. 13. Stealing dead children for science. There is nothing worse than losing a child. That is, maybe except if their body is stolen without your knowledge. It sounds like a deranged conspiracy theory, but the government did in fact take thousands of babies and young children's bodies all in the name of science. It was part of Project Sunshine, a classified program to research the effects of radiation from atomic bombs. Testing on bone and tissue samples was the most effective. To get this, children were taken from Europe and Australia without telling their parents. 12. A mysterious watcher haunting a family home. When a family moved into a big house in New Jersey, they began receiving strange letters in their mailbox. The writer identified themselves as the watcher who had the job of guarding the property. They claimed there was a rich history to the house and that the family's renovations lacked respect. Letters kept arriving, each with more detail about their personal lives than the last, and taunting them that the house wanted the, quote, young blood of their children. The father of the family set up cameras and invested his life into catching whoever was responsible. He involved a Reddit group to scan the internet for clues and even hired a private investigator. To this day, the watcher has never been identified. 11. House in a Lake At the bottom of Gardner Lake in Salem, Connecticut, the remains of a house can be found pretty much intact. The house was abandoned in 1895 when the LeCount family attempted to move it over the ice to a new location. It became an attraction of the town during winter where people would ice skate around it. During the summer, fishermen sat on top of it, and on some nights they heard the eerie sound of a piano being played, despite the house being empty. 10. The Man Who Became a Pair of Shoes It's easy to forget that leather comes from animals, but 
what else can be used for clothing? In 1878, when a criminal named George Parrott was sentenced to death, his body was put to gruesome use. Part of his head was cut off and used as an ashtray, while his skin was turned into shoes. Even stranger, these shoes were worn by the doctor who handled his body, named John Eugene Osborne, and when he later won the governorship of the state, he wore them to a ceremonial inauguration. 9. Jet Black Squirrels of the Midwest Since being introduced to Michigan in the early 20th century, jet black squirrels have had a quality of mysticism attached to them in the Midwest. These small rodents were thought to have certain powers, perhaps because of their lightning-quick movements. 8. Earwig's Tale Two centuries ago, a story of a tiny insect causing havoc on the body was born. A man was terrorized by a headache. Even more distressing, he could hear scratching coming from inside his head. Eventually, it was discovered that a bug had climbed in through his ear and laid its eggs. This terrifying tale had truth to it. It may have been the origin of the term earwig, used to refer to the insects called Dermaptera. And while they aren't known to seek out the ear canal, it's not hard to imagine how traumatizing that would be. 7. Death by Wedgie Did you ever experience a wedgie in high school? If you are unlucky enough to be on the receiving end, you'll know how painful it can be to have your underwear stretched up above your waist. But nobody knew how dangerous they could be until 2014 when a man gave his stepfather such a severe wedgie that the victim died. This wasn't part of a joke either, it happened during a physical altercation. The 33-year-old man carried out what's known as an atomic wedgie where underwear is pulled up so high that it wraps around the person's head. In this case, it wrapped around that man's neck and cut off his breathing. 6. Tanned to death Tanning salons are a quick and easy way to get some color on your skin, rather than waiting for good weather. Because they use strong ultraviolet light, experts have warned for decades about the dangers of these artificial tans. But no one could have predicted what happened in 1989 when a woman named Patsy Campbell went in for a routine tanning session. After 25 minutes underneath the UV light, everything seemed to be normal. But over the next few hours, she could feel that something was wrong. Her skin was itchy and sensitive, and within a couple days, blisters popped up all over her body. At the hospital, she learned that these were severe burns, and they covered around 70% of her body. Tragically, she ended up dying just a week and a half later. What exactly went wrong? It boiled down to the medication Patsy was taking, which makes the skin much more vulnerable to burning. 5. Blue Whale Challenge In 2016, a dangerous trend swept through social media in Russia. It was called the Blue Whale Challenge, and through groups on the Russian platform VK, teenagers were given a series of tasks to carry out for a duration of 50 days. These would usually begin with easy activities, like waking up at 4.30 in the morning. However, over time, the tasks became darker and participants were encouraged to hurt themselves. On the final day, the task would be to end their own lives, something that reportedly more than 200 teenagers did. Four. Catman of Greenock. For decades, the legend of the Catman has haunted the town of Greenock, Scotland. This Catman only emerges at night with a black stained face from motor oil to hunt for food, even resorting to eating rats. A picture taken of what is allegedly the Catman shows a figure lying on the ground with a dead rodent hanging out of its mouth. One Reddit user claimed they visited the man often, having grown up in the area, but others are skeptical. 3. The Phantom of Malls. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, a haunting figure was spotted in a Swiss forest. On the outskirts of the town of Malls, people reported seeing a tall, dark figure, their face hidden behind a gas mask. Passed down through stories and rumors, the existence of the Phantom of Malls wasn't confirmed until they were finally photographed for the first time. Soon after, though, a gas mask was discovered in the forest, along with a note that suggested the figure would be taking their own life. Since then, there has never been another reported sighting. 2. A Dingo Stole a Woman's Child If you were around during the 1980s, then you might remember the phrase, the dingoes got my baby, or the dingo ate my baby. It came from a story in Australia that made global headlines, where a woman claimed that a dingo had stolen her child during a camping trip. Most of the news coverage was suspicious of her testimony, with the public believing that the woman had used an elaborate dingo story to cover up an unspeakable crime. The jury agreed, and she was thrown into jail for a life sentence. After three years, however, some of the baby's clothes were found near a known dingo habitat. The woman was released and eventually exonerated, but her name had been dragged through the mud and her life was ruined. 1. 
the Black Angel. Cemeteries are always a little unnerving to be in, but the Black Angel in Iowa is even creepier than most. This is an eight and a half foot tall statue that was sculpted for a grieving mother's son in the 19th century. Over time, the shiny yellow bronze of the statue has faded into a dark green and is known as the Black Angel for its outstretched wings. The statue is a famously haunted place in Iowa, drawing crowds during Halloween. So, what's a local urban legend from your area that turned out to be true? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And if you want to keep learning about the bizarre reality we live in, don't worry, we've got a ton more. From a cat that inherited $13 million to the real reason Hollywood moved from New York to Los Angeles, click here to watch 25 facts they never taught you about in school. Because, I mean, there's lots of things you didn't learn about in school. There's lots of things you did, but not everything can be taught. So, check this out. You'll love it. Trust me. That's not an urban legend. It's true. We did that.